Hello everyone, this is Vikram and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will talk about how to create AWS free tier account. AWS is one of the market leaders in the cloud computing solutions. It offers wide range of services in the form of infrastructure as a service, platform as a service and software as a service. All these are service models and also AWS follows pay as you go pricing model which means you only pay for the service which you actually use so if you want to know what are the products available in AWS do check out this link AWS pricing models include a 12 month free tire which we are going to see now so for creating a 12 month free tire account we would be needing a credit card and valid phone number for our verification purposes and AWS also offers an always free tire which means some of the products are given for free for lifetime and some of the products are given for short term trials where we get to try some of its services for a limited duration and for 12 month free tire we will have limited free credits that means if you exit these free credits you will be charged it is always suggested to set up billing alert so that whenever you cross certain billing amount you will be notified so these are some of the free tire services offered by AWS we are going to see them um, in the uh, AWS website itself but I have mentioned some of the services here the one such uh, main service is Amazon EC2 which is Amazon Elastic Cloud Compute which has virtual servers inside the platform. So under the free tier we will be offered 7, 750 hours per month of EC2 instances services. We also have Amazon S3, Amazon RDS which is relational database service, Amazon ECR which is Elastic Container Registry where we will be allowed to store Docker images up to 500 MB per month and also we have NoSQL managed services and we also have AWS Lambda which is serverless computing solutions from Amazon so under free tire we'll have 1 million free requests per month so let's get started with creating an AWS account so if you want to know some of the AWS products you can just search for AWS product usually the first link will be the valid link so you can see various services offered under AWS if you go to databases you can see that we have Amazon RDS which are we had seen in the earlier slides we have Amazon Aurora so you can find all the services from this link and also if you want to create a free tier account just for search for the AWS free tier account and and this is the link for creating a free tier account so I'm in the AWS free tier account creation page which is aws.amazon.com slash free so from here you can see what all services offered under free tier account and what all the services which are completely free so you can uh, search and you can filter through all the available options here so if you click on 12 month free you get to see all the free tier uh, services offered which is ec2 s3 and all so i'm going to start with creating a free tier account so just click on this free tier account creation page so you'll have to enter your email address password and the account name So in the next page you'll be asked to enter your personal details so i'll be using this aws account for my personal projects so select personal here and give your full name and phone number for verification purposes so the phone number should be with the country code you have to select your country here and you have to fill out your address so after you fill your address details in the next page you'll be asked for the credit card or the debit card details Once your televerification is complete, uh, you'll be asked to select a support plan. So we'll be going for the free tier account. So select uh, basic support free and click on complete sign up. So our account creation is successful and we'll be soon receiving an email with the activation link. So this is the email which I've received from Amazon for activating my account. So to access your account, click on access account. So enter your username which you have used during the sign up process. 
and click on next enter the characters as shown in the security check and enter your password that's it so your AWS account is now created so you can click on services section to see what are all the services offered under the AWS platform